he's probably in the lead, but I think he's going to have a hard time being reelected. He is caught in <laughs> he, he's caught in a crappy um, economic situation. The state of Ohio, important in every election cycle, is providing a case study in the challenges of running as a Democratic incumbent. Who's going to be first? For Governor Ted Strickland, it's all about jobs. He believes the picture is slowly improving. If it doesn't, he anticipates the consequences. Uh, if things were to deteriorate uh, or, or, or to stay exactly the way they are, uh, I think um, come November, people very likely will be uh, uh, thinking, well, maybe we should rethink our leadership. Seven of the nation's leading battleground states, all won by President Obama, have Democratic governors who are either stepping down or running for re-election. Thanks. Good to see you. Mr. Strickland is better positioned than most, and we spent some time with him last week to see how he's managing in such a difficult climate. There are people who are anxious about the future, who are, uh, in some cases, rightfully angry about what's happened to them. One place where the political challenge is acute is in Clinton County in southwestern Ohio. The unemployment rate here went from 3 to almost 19 percent when the shipping company DHL closed a local plant. I see. Mommy's trying to get the tomatoes to stay put. At a local community garden where people now grow food to help make ends meet, the anxiety that the governor sees across the state is clear. To me, they're all crooks. <laughs> um, I, I just don't know what to say about it. Right now, I've just had, like, too much to worry about. We kind of... Uh, do for ourselves more than anything. The governor's response has been to essentially step into the role of the state's chief economic cheerleader. Totally. Thank you, governor. An average day last week began with an appearance with a local lender. Uh, bankers, governor, we're not used to applause. <laughs> and later, he was on hand for the announcement of a new TJ Maxx facility. The tie I have on today came from TJ Maxx. The shirt I have on today came from TJ Maxx, and the suit I have on today came from TJ Maxx. This was not happening six months ago. Six months ago, I was not going to ribbon cuttings and groundbreakings, and well, I think they're adding up to uh, a narrative about what's happening in Ohio in terms of uh, economic recovery and job growth. Mr. Strickland's opponent is former Congressman John Kasich. He's an experienced Washington hand, and the papers from his long career are housed in his hometown library. The exhibit takes up nearly the entire second floor. It's this experience that he's running on, arguing that he knows how to balance a budget, which he helped to do as a powerful Republican committee chairman in the 1990s. We balanced the budget in real terms, we paid down some of the, of the national debt, we cut taxes, and we had prosperity in our country. The question is, which message will work in places like conservative Clinton County? Mr. Strickland's strategy seems to be working on some voters. William Thatcher has been laid off from both General Motors and DHL. His views trend very Republican. It will turn around after this next election, once the Republicans get voted in. But he plans to vote for at least one Democrat this fall, Governor Strickland, like he did in 2006. I think he's a governor that, um, that sees what Ohio needs. Across town, florist Phil Swindler was also a Strickland Republican last time. His business has survived by shifting from flowers to more practical plants. We have sold probably three or four times the number of tomatoes this year as we sell on a regular year. This time around, he's undecided. Mr. Kasich's message of less government interference resonates with him. The biggest thing that uh, government can do for a business owner is stay out of the way for a small business owner. Even though Mr. Strickland initially supported Hillary Clinton in the 2008 primaries, his fortunes and those of many other Democratic governors are now interwoven with President Obama. Please give a huge round of applause to your great governor, Ted Strickland. To win this year, Mr. Strickland needs the president's popularity to rise. And the president needs Mr. Strickland to still be in office to help build a firewall when he runs for re-election in 2012. Both political parties understand that uh, whoever wins the governor's race in 2010 will be well positioned to help 
carry Ohio and influence the presidential election in 2012. Between now and November, Ohio voters will make up their minds. I want to see if they walk the walk.